Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel for another Sims 3 CC Finds Showcase and today I have quite a few items to show you guys for both male and female because it has been so long since I have sat down and done any actual CC shopping for the Sims 3 and when I finally did there was so much that I wanted and I had to have in my game and so today I have around 50 items in total to show you guys so yeah and if you guys see anything in this video that you would like to have for yourself. As always, there will be a link down below in the description that will take you to a compiled list of everything featured in the video. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into it. Also, as a little disclaimer, a lot of things, if not all of the things in this video, are more on the alpha textured, as you can probably see by my female model here. They are not actually like Maxis style as what you would see for like, Exam for an example, an already in-game piece of content from like Maxis. So if you by chance have a lower end computer or you like to play your game on lower settings, then a lot of these items are probably not going to look the same or they will cause lag and possible in-game crashes. So I just wanted to put that out there just because I have struggled with that in the past when I played on my old computer. So I wanted to save you guys the hassle and the trouble of finding that out for yourself. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there that that is a possibility, but anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into it. So we're just gonna start with clothing items because the most that I have to show you, I believe is for females, of course, because there's like so much more female content out there that I feel like I like better than male content. It is so like, rare that I can find good male CC that I like. But yeah, so we're just gonna start off with these t-shirts right here that she is wearing, these kind of like alternative type of tops right here. So this is just kind of what they look like. There are plenty of different swatches to choose from or like presets to choose from. So here are just a few of them that I'm going to show you. And let's see, we also have some band type t-shirts. We have some striped t-shirts, I believe, or no, I was about to say, I believe that there's also a plain type t-shirt, but that is a lie. <laughs> but yeah, we have quite a few different ones to choose from and I absolutely love this t-shirt. It is absolutely adorable. The next thing we have are these adorable hoodies right here. I absolutely, absolutely love them. And of course, we have some different swatches to choose from as well, or presets. I keep wanting to call them swatches because of playing sims 4 for so long <laughs> but yeah we have a lot of different presets here i absolutely love this cute little fox one right here it is too adorable and then we also have another one i believe it is these ones right here which are more like plain styled they are pretty much the same ones but yeah they don't have any patterns they're just plain uh different colored ones so here they are we also have a few graphic ones we have this one which is too cute <laughs> and then we also have a mellow yellow one right here and also another little disclaimer that if you do decide to download these I promise they look a lot better in game it's just like in create a sim they tend to look a little bit different than in game so that's another little tiny disclaimer <laughs> but yeah those are the hoodies and then next we have these adorable little crop tops here. So we have a plain one. So if you wanted to do some recoloring or some patterns of your own, then you can do that. But then we also have this pre-patterned one right here, which is kind of florally. So yeah, this is just kind of what this looks like. I absolutely love it. It's a nice summery type of top. And then we also have this one right here, which kind of reminds me of like a butterfly top. I think that's what they're called, where it looks like, yeah, it, it kind of looks like butter, butterfly wings in the back. So I don't know if that's actually what this is supposed to be called, but this is just what it looks like. We have a nice uh, cotton type texture, which I love. And then we also have some more um, plain types and uh, just a few different, yeah, just a few different uh, presets here. So this is just what this looks like. And then moving on down here, we have possibly my favorite top ever, ever, ever. You possibly already seen it in the thumbnail if I decided to keep the original thumbnail. But yeah, we have this top right here, which has some cutout shoulders right here. And it's a cute little crop top. And we have these different uh, swatches right here. See, there we go. Swatches again. <laughs> but this one kind of rings in like a little 
little 70s or 80s type of vibe that's what i get from this one which i'm pretty sure was supposed to be the intention but yeah i love it total 90s kid here <laughs> but yeah we have some donuts we have i think this is supposed to be like feathers or something florally either way it's absolutely adorable i love it i love it so much i love all this stuff <laughs> and then moving on we have these long sleeve sweatshirt type of tops right here so this is what these look like tons of different colors going on right here but they all look so adorable this one is quite possibly my favorite i love the pastel type colors Oh, it just looks so nice and cozy and warm and just perfect for like a nice autumn or fall day, whichever you prefer to call it. <laughs> and then moving on, we also have a another uh, floral summery type top. Perfect for like a nice day down at the beach. I would totally see a sim wearing this down at the beach. Just catching some sun and everything. I love it. It only comes in one preset, as you can quite possibly tell. I don't know if it's actually recolorable or not. I don't think it is, but yeah, this is just what that looks like. And then we also have some Thrasher tops. Oh yes. Yeah. So we have the plain one right here, which is obviously recolorable. And then we have the preset right here, which is a nice checkerboard type of pattern. And this shirt actually goes with the skirt that you saw her in at the very beginning. So I will go ahead and show you guys that here in a quick minute. But yeah, and then the last top that I have to show you is this one right here, which is supposed to be a, I think it says, unity or it's supposed to say unity i honestly don't know but it's supposed to be if i remember correctly on the post that i downloaded this off of it's supposed to be a gay pride type of top which i am loving <laughs> so here are the different uh presets i love this one like i seriously would love to have a shirt like this in my life and i found some of them before but i was always too broke to buy them at the time so i'm still on the lookout to find one that i like but yeah, that was a little bit off topic. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that is what those look like. And so I'm going to stick this top back on her for the sake of showing you the skirt that it came with. So we are going to move on to bottoms right now. <clears throat> And uh, there we go. So here is the full kind of outfit that is a lot of checkerboard, if I have, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with this one right here. But yeah, this is the completed outfit, just kind of as it is. This cute little skater skirt. I think that's what it's supposed to be called anyway. I don't know. I don't know fashion terms, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> but yeah, this one is for recoloring, and I think this one is the is the preset. So I don't think this one is recolorable, but I could be completely wrong <laughs> so yeah that is what that looks like and then these are the jeans that she was wearing so these are the daisy jeans I remember that because they have daisies on them <laughs> so yeah these ones are the daisy jeans they have um, a few down here on the calf and then obviously a few up here on the thigh they are just a nice pair of high-waisted skinny jeans which I love that's like all of my sims everywhere is high-waisted skinny jeans because I love them so much and then we also have this cute little skirt right here so adorable and these are the different presets that it comes in so this one definitely reminds me more of like fall and you can definitely pair this with like a pair of leggings or tights or something and it would look absolutely adorable and then we also have this pair of jeans right here another pair of high-waisted ripped skinny jeans and these ones are not recolorable but they do come in a bunch of different uh shades and just yeah all that kind of stuff so unfortunately these ones are not recolorable because i've tried <laughs> but yeah i still think they look good either way so that is what those look like and then this is actually a version two of this pair of skinny jeans so they look about the same but they don't have as many rips in them and i do believe that they also come in or no never mind i lied <laughs> i was about to say i do think that they come in a lot more presets but no that is not correct <laughs> so yeah this is what these look like here so cute and then the last thing for bottoms that i have to show you are this pair of calvin klein bottoms which i would love to have a pair of these in my life as well but i am too poor 
<laughs> I cannot afford Calvin Klein. And then I just kind of recolored this one. This one doesn't come with the actual download, but I just recolored this to make them look like a pair of like cotton briefs or whatever. So yeah, that's what that looks like. But now we are going to head on over to outfits because of course I have a few outfits to show you as well. So the first thing that I have to show you here is this adorable Christmas sweater. So this is obviously a sweater dress, but you can also go in like if you have an if you have a pair of accessory leggings or something, you can definitely pair this with those and it would look absolutely adorable. So these are some of the presets here. And I really hope that I'm not like going too fast. I feel like I'm flying right through these and I'm not really showing them off. So if that's the case, I'm super sorry. But normally these type of videos, they tend to last a lot longer than they probably should because I never actually know when to stop talking. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this is an okay speed for you guys, but Anyways, yeah, moving on. We have another uh, dress to, um, I have another dress to show you. There we go. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. It reminds me of, yeah, like this. It reminds me of like a cute little jean dress with uh, just like a simple long sleeve top. And it is so adorable. I think this one is like, okay. So this one, I think you can recolor the top. I believe because of what the thumbnail kind of shows me but yeah anyways we're just gonna move on so here are the other presets and obviously these ones right here like these two remind me again a lot of like wearing these for fall or something it's probably just the colors <laughs> honestly this is probably like a horrible dress to wear f for for autumn because I don't know about where you guys live but where I live it gets freezing cold in autumn we get like two weeks of actual autumn type weather where it's perfect sweater weather and then we get snow for the rest of it so that's yeah that's fun. <laughs> but anyways, we're just going to move on. And this is another dress, which is a cute little summery type dress, a nice little sundress. So we have some sunflowers. We have some floral patterns. We have some cute little peach patterns. And then we also have a pinstripe pattern with some adorable uh, red roses up here at the top, which is too cute. And then I think there's also a version two for this dress as well. Yes, there is. So we have this one, which is more plain type colors. So we have this yellow one with, I think those are supposed to be leaves. I don't know. They kind of look like pears to me. <laughs> but yeah, we have this. We also have this one super adorable we have this one which i think these are supposed to be flowers like little roses but i could be wrong and then we also have this last floral pattern right here so yeah and then we have this one which is one of my favorite dresses that i found we have a star wars dress a little sweater dress i think that's what this would be called it's like a long sleeve paired with a skater skirt or something but yeah we have this may the fourth be with you uh dress and we have some camo we have some black and red which is my favorite one and i don't even know why i like this dress so much i think it's just the way that it looks because if i'm being honest i've never watched a star wars movie a day in my life <laughs> like i've seen parts of star wars but i've never actually sat down and watched a full movie which is probably like blasphemy to some of you but <laughs> yeah we have another christmas type of sweater right here so we have this cute one with santa and he's totally doing like the kim kardashian pose right here with some milk <laughs> i think that was kim anyways i could be wrong i don't pay attention to the kardashians either <laughs> but then we also have this plain jane kind of maroon colored sweater dress here and yeah that kind of that kind of uh wraps it up for the for the uh clothing items. So okay, I'm so now we are going to move on to a few accessories that I have to show you guys. So the first thing that I have is this little earring, which I'm hoping that you guys can make that out. It's supposed to be a little uh, star earring that goes in, I think that's supposed to be like a conch piercing, but I could be wrong with that too. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be a cute little uh, star 
piercing that just goes right there it's super simple and I recolored it so that you guys can see it a little bit better because originally it would just be in silver but yeah I wanted you guys to see it a bit better so I recolored it to make it look black <laughs> so yeah that is what that looks like and then I also have this uh, half moon necklace that she is currently wearing which I don't think this is recolorable because I tried it right before I started recording this video and it didn't appear that anything happened so yeah we just have this going on right here this is what it looks like and I thought that it was super cute I like I can never get enough of chokers like choker necklaces in this game or really any sims game so I obviously had to have that <laughs> so yeah that is what that looks like and I think aside from shoes oh no I have a couple other things to show you okay I'm trying not to forget anything because I've done that before in the past too where I've forgotten to show certain things. <laughs> but um, I do have a pair of shoes to show you guys. So we have this pair of high top Converse with the laces kind of wrapped around the ankle right there and I know that this pair for the actual download comes with a version that has like a little a little thing of flowers kind of tucked into the laces. I personally didn't want that kind, so I just got this kind, but yeah, that is a that is an option that's available for available for download as well. So, yeah, we have quite a few different options to choose from. We obviously have plain white, yellow, we have gray, we have the classic black, red, yellow, we have some green, some navy blue, and then we get into a few of the patterns. So, we have like the little heart eyes right here. We have some roses going on. We have the ones that she was wearing. Um, we have some florally tight patterns with what looks to be like a little snake right there. So yeah, there's quite a few different uh, options to choose from. Some flames, gray flames. We have some... <laughs> These look to be like cute little patches or something that were like ironed or, or sewed onto the side right here. And so yeah, there's quite a few, like literally so many. <laughs> we even have some camo going on right here. So yeah, that kind of wraps it up for shoes. I'm going to show these, these guys off for the males, so keep an eye out for that. <laughs> but yeah, and then the last pair of clothing that I have to show you guys is actually a bathing suit. So this bathing suit was one of my favorites for The Sims 4, and when I saw that it was converted for The Sims 3, I obviously had to get it. So we have this one, which is a daisy type pattern. We have some pineapples. We have some flamingos. We also have some floral type patterns. And then we also have this uh, tropical beachy type of pattern going on right here as well. So yeah, this is what that looks like. It is seriously my favorite and I know that I'm going to end up using it so, 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 so much now that I have it. <laughs> seriously, it was like a favorite of mine. It was one of my like top five. <laughs> so yeah, next we are going to go into makeup because I do have a blush to show you guys. So let's go ahead and zoom on into her beautiful face right here. So you can probably see the the blush in her cheeks right here. This is actually what it looks like. Or no, we are in lipstick. What am I talking about? <laughs> we need to be in blush. There we go. So yeah, I do believe that I am on the correct one right here. So this is what it looks like at like full um, opacity. So we have the blush. We also have a little bit of contouring going on right here and then a little bit of highlighting around the edge of the blush and along the nose right here, which I really hope you guys can see decently. So this is what it looks like. I just preferred to have it a little bit down just so that it's not too overbearing or anything. And then, oh yeah, I have one other piece of makeup to show you. See, I'm forgetting literally everything and we have to go back into blush. So where is it? It is this thing right here. <laughs> it is a hairline and it looks a little bit odd on this particular sim, but I know that it could, it has the potential to look good on these or on like a specific sim. That's what I was trying to say. But I thought that it was absolutely adorable. I love putting hairlines on my sims and I just thought that it was just too cute to pass up. If I'm remembering, I have one hair to show you guys as well and it is going to look extremely odd on this sim, but the point is to show you. <laughs> so that's, yeah. 
that's just what we're gonna go with. So it is this one right here. It is this super adorable, like curly, super, super duper curly type of hairstyle. And I loved it. Like I seriously loved it and I had to have it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I love these type of curls. Like I really, really do. I wish my hair was curly like this, but no, my curls end up extremely frizzy and not cute. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna go back to her original hairstyle. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that kind of wraps everything up for the females. And now we are going to move on to the males. Alrighty, so because I don't have as many items for males as I do for females, hopefully this won't take as long to get through. But the first thing that I have to show you guys for tops is this jacket with a hoodie underneath. So this is what it looks like. It is so amazing. I love this jacket. I, I can never, like I said at the beginning of the video, I can never find good CC for males. So when I do, I obviously have to grab it. So I love the hoodie underneath. This is like one of my favorite styles of jackets, just with a nice hoodie underneath and a open, an open jacket in the front. And then we also have this one right here, which is um, a nice mustard yellow with a red and black and white striped hoodie underneath. And I don't know how much of this is actually <laughs> recolorable or not, but yeah, this is just kind of what it looks like. And sorry that my voice is starting to go out. I haven't talked this long for quite a while now. So yeah, please forgive me for that. <laughs> but yeah, the next thing we have to, we have to show you, I have to show you is this sweater right here. I absolutely love it. It is so comfy cozy looking and I love the hood at the back oh my gosh and like this little tucked in bit right here to make it look like it's actually tucked into his jeans I love that too and then we have this one right here which looks like some star constellations I love that I, I love me some star constellations like I don't know about you but I do <laughs> So yeah, we have that going on and then we have a cute little tank top, which again, I love the little tucked in bit right here to make it look like it's tucked into his pants. So we have this striped pattern right here. We also have this one, which I honestly do not know what this is supposed to be, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I know that there's like some little eyes right here. So maybe there's those are supposed to be like some monsters or something. I don't know. But then we also have this one right here, which is again, a little bit odd looking, but I kind of like it. Like I strangely, strangely like it. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> so we have that tank top. We also have some more hoodies because I can't get enough of hoodies in this game. <laughs> so this one, we have a cute little raccoon, which looks like he's like running or pointing or fighting or something. I don't know. He, he looks like he's throwing a punch to me. So I'm just going to say he's a fighting raccoon. <laughs> so we have this. We also have this one, which looks like a little dog. And then we also have a nice little pattern in the back right here. So there's that. We have this one right here. We also have this one and then we have this one, which I think is oddly my favorite one. I don't know why. I think it's just because it looks like the little monster looks so weird <laughs> that I like it so much. So yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. And again, like I said with the females, um, a lot of this content will definitely look a lot better in game. Like as you can see, there's shadows up around the neckline right here and along the arms and everything. Those won't be as much of an issue in game as they are in creative sims. So just keep that in mind that a lot of this stuff may look weird in, in cast, but they look a lot better in game. So yeah. And then moving on, we have this this simple long sleeve t-shirt or it's not even t-shirt it's a long sleeve shirt there we go <laughs> so yeah that is just kind of what this looks like and I'm assuming this is like fully recolorable so you can choose different colors if you'd want to and then here we have a version 2 kind of of what these hoodies were up here so we have some block style uh, sweatshirts we have some plain sweatshirts as well and these are just kind of what they look like, all of the different uh, presets and everything. And yeah, that is just what those look like. And then we also have this varsity type of sweatshirt right here. So we have an open sweatshirt with a kind of plain tee underneath. And this is just what this looks like. 
And then we also have a striped version right here. So it doesn't have like the varsity uh, patch or emblem or whatever you want to call it off to the side right here. So I believe that this one would be uh, recolorable, but this one could be as well. I don't know. <laughs> I probably should have checked before I started recording this video. Too late now. <laughs> but yeah, finally for the tops for males, we have some more Christmas sweaters. So these ones are kind of like piggybacking off of the female ones. So these ones are obviously just like tops for males, whereas for the females, they were, I believe, sweater dresses. So yeah, we have these right here. They are pretty much all the same uh, patterns. I love this one. This is my ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> so yeah, they have pretty much the same patterns and uh, textures and everything. So this is what those look like. And I'm going to put him into this sweater just because I like it a lot. <laughs> and so for the bottoms here, the first thing that I'm going to show you is, I believe, yes, it is this pair of jeans that he is currently wearing right here. So we have some nice, uh, skinny jeans and these are the presets that they come in. Once again, I don't think that these are necessarily recolorable or anything. So yeah, these are just what those look like. And I think my headphones are dying. <laughs> like, I hope you guys couldn't hear that, but I think my headphones are dying. But yeah, we also have a pair of ripped skinny jeans as well that they just kind of come in all of the same, uh, same colors, just with the little rips in the thighs and everything. So that is what those look like. And then I also have another pair of skinny jeans to show you guys. So these, they are these ones right here, which it looks like they just have a little cuff down here at the bottom. So these come in, these are definitely recolorable because I recolored them into this more uh, blue jean type of color right here, which now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit purple, but we're still gonna go with it. <laughs> so. So yeah, we have these pair of skinny jeans as well. They are a lot more smoother, I'm, I'm noticing. And hey, am I actually seeing this correctly? They are basically female jeans because they don't have pockets. <laughs> Gasp, who ever heard of male jeans not having pockets? It's completely unheard of. <laughs> but anyways horrible joke. <laughs> Anyways, we have a pair of swim trunks as well. These are just what they look like. It's a nice kind of floral or um, tropical pattern that we got going on here. I love these and I can always do with some more uh, swim trunks for my males as well. So I had to get those. And then the last thing that I have to show you is this pair of, I'm assuming these are supposed to be like joggers. At least that's what I've been calling them. They're like sweatpants or something. But yeah, these are what these look like. And I love them. Again, they look so comfy and so just nice and warm and just perfect to wear on like a Saturday when you're not doing anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's what those are. And then moving on to the shoes, like I said, I was going to show these guys off for the males. So this is what these look like. I'm hoping that I can get a decent like look at them, but they are, I'm thinking that these are supposed to be like, I don't actually know what brand of shoes these are, but again, this was a pair of shoes that I adored in The Sims 4. And so when I saw these for Sims 3, I was like, yes, I'm, I'm gonna grab these. So that is what these look like. They come in white. There's also blue and white with a little green piece here at the back. There is a nice forest green type of color going on. And then of course we have just full black. <laughs> so that would be the shoes that I have for the males. And obviously both of these pairs of shoes are available for male and female. So if you wanted them for both, you can have them for both. If you wanted them for just one, then obviously you could do that as well. And then finally, finally, cause I don't think that I have anything else for the guys. I have a pair of socks to show you guys. So here we go, which I could have just, you know, showed you guys without having to come into here, but whatever. <laughs> we have a simple pair of Nike, uh, Nike socks. So this is what these look like. They would look a little bit weird if I took off the shoes, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> so I'm not going to take the shoes off because I have like these default, uh, feet that make it look like they actually have toes. So <laughs> the socks actually look like they have toes if I were to take the shoes off and I don't want that. So. 
<laughs> anyways, I mean, it's just a pair of socks. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, yeah, that is what those look like. And I believe that now I am completely done. He looks like a freaking mess right now, but... <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video now that it has come to a close. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys found something that you would like to have for yourself. I hope that it's, you know, helped you out with finding some new CC. And once again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you saw something that you would like to have, then there will be a link to a list down below in the description so that you guys can check out everything that I showed you. So I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below telling me what you thought and also hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video. And if you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And I will talk to you guys in the very, very next video. All right, bye guys.